what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Got blocked again. Facebook got me again, man. Went to log in, and it was like, you must enter your password. I was like, oh, they got me. <laughs> I knew they was going to get me, but I kind of cared, but at the same time, I didn't give a damn because I was like, man, I'm putting this message out there anyway because I'm hard-headed, man. I just don't know how to stop. I just, I'm just not going to mind, man. Like, you got to shut me down. I mean, I, I just don't have any quit in me. So I put the video out anyway. I knew they was going to come after me because they don't like it when you get at their coons. And I got at one of the coon dandadas. And they didn't like that. Can y'all see this? Get you one of these. Go to my website, willyd.com, and get you one of these. I'm getting ready to start moving all of my content to my website because you really can't trust any of these social media platforms. These people have hidden agendas. They, they are people. They're not computer bots. They're people. And they have their own prejudices. They have these things called community guidelines and they're so ambiguous. You don't know what the hell you can do or say. They pick and choose what articles they wanna leave up, what videos they wanna leave up and which ones they want to do a takedown on. It all depends on whatever their agenda is. It's the same thing with politics. These platforms, especially like Facebook, even YouTube, man, these, these platforms, they got a lot of power. And that power can be used for good or evil. I know for a fact, Facebook using theirs for evil. And I think they got, they got, I've been hearing a lot of people saying that they got police working over there. They got the government, they got government officials over there monitoring people's pages. I do know they got a direct line to the police. You, the police, if they want to know something about you, they call a certain line and Facebook, okay, bam. Give them everything they want to know about you. On Facebook, you don't have to post incriminating things. You don't have to post vulgarity. You don't have to post any of those things, anything foul to get blocked. If they don't like your message, they'll block you. Simple as that. And one of the messages that's reoccurring that I know for a fact that Facebook don't appreciate is anytime you post something about black history, they don't like black awareness. They don't like anything that's educational, that benefits black people. They don't like that. They don't like when black people expose other black people. They don't like none of that. So you got to judge these people with a suspicious eye. You got to watch them real carefully. They didn't block me so many times, man. I don't even know why they still let me be on there. That's why I spend a lot of time on YouTube. Spend a lot of time on my Patreon page. But I'm moving all of this stuff to, to my main page, my Willie D. Dot com. So make sure y'all go over there and, and register or at least favor the page so you'll have it saved because I'm, I'm, gonna start, I'm, I'm, I'm about to start my transition 
and bring get all my stuff on my main page. They really don't like when you call these coons out. Man, they hate it when you call those coons out. Because the coons serve a purpose. The coons are out there working for them. And the coons are working hard. You got to give it to the coons. They are very good, uh, very good workers. And they go about their business daily. And they try to figure out new ways to coon. And to please Massa. But here's the deal. A lot of people, when they think coon, I don't know why it is, but they automatically think black. But you don't have to be black to be a coon. All you got to do is be one of those people whose criticism of your community outweigh your contribution. Or you can be one of those people who reinforce negative stereotypes about your race. See, Donald Trump fit into that category. He reinforces negative stereotypes about white people. When you hear him talk, when you watch his policies, when you see the type of people he hire and the people he have around him, it automatically takes you all the way back. And it makes you think that it reminds you about the bad element in the white race. People who feel self-entitled, who hate people who have different beliefs, who want to get everything for themselves and their friends and their family and leave everybody else out who want to take advantage of the system, want to eat off the fat of the land, but don't want to make any contributions. Look at Donald Trump. He got more money than most of us, but he don't pay taxes. Think about how that sounds. Think about what I just said. This dude, by all accounts, is a billionaire. Now, you got people that make less than $10,000 a year, but they're paying taxes. How much sense does that make? They pay taxes, and he don't. And then you still got people out there that so-called love this dude. Donald Trump is a coon. He is a bona fide coon. This guy, Ted Cruz, is a coon. Because Ted Cruz, Ted Cruz's daddy is an immigrant. Yet, Ted Cruz demonizes other immigrants so that he can impress the elite, so he can impress his friends, he can impress his political contacts and his business contacts. So he throw his community under the bus so that he can advance his career. He can Advance, he can advance his social status. He is a coon. Now, you all know that Stephen A. Smith is a coon. Everybody knows Charles Barkley is a coon. Stacey Dash is a coon. Oh, man, that's a long-ass list. I'm not going to even get into this, this list because that list on our side is so great. The reason why we got so many coons, of course, is that Black people in this country have just been so divided. It's, and we don't have all the coons because we're not the dominant race. I mean, it's only one dominant race in the U.S., and that's the whites. So, but these other people, they don't have 
as many registered coons as we do because quite frankly, they have, I think, more pride. They stick to the code more than we do. There's a code, a conduct, and they stick to it, meaning that, okay, I can disagree with you. I may not like what you're saying or whatever, but I know that the common goal for us is to see our people make it, get to the promised land. So I don't like what you did. I don't like what you said, but that one thing you said, that one thing you did, it's not going to be enough for me to disown you or try to discredit you or call you out, ridicule you. If I know that overall your agenda is to advance our race, you're going to get a pass. If I know that. Now, some people... You already know what their agenda is. So whatever they say, whatever they do, you got to get right at them. You already know what it is. But for people that I know that are 100 and I know that they are for the betterment, the advancement of our community, then you won't see me going after those type of people. If they get out of pocket once or twice or whatever, or just once, you know, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and I might give them a call if I have their phone number or I'll try to do some further investigations or call somebody that I think that may know them or whatever and try to get an inside scoop or whatever and try to, you know, get inside of their head a little bit, so to speak. But the other ones, I don't give a damn about them. I'm going full throttle on them all day long. So, I just wanted to drop this little quick video on y'all, just let y'all know that. It's coons in every race. It's coons in every group. I watched Planet of the Apes the other day. They had a coon on the Planet of the Apes. I don't know if y'all seen it before, but I don't remember the guy's name, but one of the apes, he was shooting apes. He was whipping the apes for the white man. <laughs> yeah, they had slave apes. And he and a couple of other apes, they were keeping the slaves, keeping the slave apes in place. You know, he's beating on them and stuff. He's handling them. So it's coons in every race, it's coons in every group. Don't get it twisted. This message was brought to you by the Coon Hunters of America. Get your son. If you see a coon, say something. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.